Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a really long time since I filmed any kind of sit down video. Um, I think since my pregnancy updates. So I am a little rusty, so bear with me. Um, but I thought it would be fun to do like a toddler and baby spring and summer clothing haul because days ago we got back from vacationing in Maui. And prior to that, I had bought the kids a bunch of spring and summer stuff because they did not have any clothes um, for that weather <laughs> that fit them. So um, we honestly usually just buy our kids clothes at Target because that's, let's be honest, like that's where I am most of the time and it's easy to just pick stuff up there um, and grab little things every once in a while. We don't usually buy them a big lump sum of clothing at one time, but we did buy quite a bit of clothing for them for this trip. Um, so a lot of this has been worn. Some of it actually hasn't because we did have a couple days of bad weather and we weren't there for very long. So um, some of it has not been worn yet, but I did pick up a bunch of cute stuff. So I just thought this would be fun. It's something a little different than I usually do. So let's jump right into it. For those of you who are new here and don't know, I have a three-year-old little girl named Kenzie and a nine-month-old little boy named Axel. So this haul is going to be for a toddler girl and a baby boy. All of these clothes are from Cotton On, Target, and H&M. Um, the majority of them are going to be from Cotton On, which is definitely by far my absolute favorite place to get baby and toddler clothes. It is so cute, totally affordable, um, but it's in the mall and I just don't really go to the mall frequently, especially with two kids. And I actually went and picked stuff up this time and yeah, let's jump right into it. So I am going to show you the cotton on stuff first. I'll start with what I got for my daughter. Um, their bathing suits are to die for. I got her two there. So I got this cute little baby pink lace rash guard. It's really thick, heavy material, super, super cute. She ended up wearing this in Maui quite frequently um, because I did not want her to get sunburned and it fit her perfectly. It's a three and she is a three T in almost everything. So Cotton On is an Australian brand, so it runs a little bit long and lean, which is kind of how she is. Um, so they fit her really, really well. So yeah, this is adorable. And then I also got her this bathing suit. It's like a yellow paisley with little ruffles. It is so, so cute. But she actually did not get to wear this one uh, because we just didn't have that many beach days in Hawaii. But this is so cute. Um, and they're all really good quality. She did wear this dress in Hawaii and already got a stain on it. But it's just like a cute little pinstra or just a cute little striped button up dress this is super cute to throw over like a bathing suit it's super lightweight and then I actually got her this dress on sale it's like a little polka dot tank top dress um you could even wear it with like or she could even wear it with like a long sleeve or short sleeve black shirt underneath so i got her three dresses there and then the last dress i got her is this adorable little leopard print like baby doll dress she didn't wear this i didn't even take it to hawaii um i just thought it would be super cute even in the winter with leggings and boots um so she can actually get a lot of wear out of this dress and then they have the cutest graphic tees at Cotton On for Kids. They're so cute. I always get her. Um, it's like two for 30, I think. So, so I always grab her a couple when I go. Um, we got this little, it's like a leopard. And then this little one that says good day. I love the neutral tones. And so then I got these cute little floral shorts. They match really well with this top. They're super cute, just like an athletic stretchy short <laughs> and <laughs> bear with me I am not very good at these descriptions but then I also got these other like like athletic type shorts they're like a ribbed cotton and they're actually kind of like a gray and then the um the writing on this is like a gray black so this will go with that really cute and then these were on sale they're just like a pair of fleece joggers um they are like a navy blue, super soft and comfortable. Um, she actually ended up wearing these a couple times in Hawaii because it did get cool at night and those came in really handy. 
So for Axel, he's still fun to shop for, but not quite as fun to shop for Kenzie. Little girl stuff is just so stinking cute. Um, but the little boy stuff I caught on is adorable. So I picked him up. Look how cute. They're like an acid wash little jogger sweatpant. So I picked him up those. And I also grabbed him a couple um, graphic tees. This one's like a little Led Zeppelin one. This one, oh wait, no. this is the Led Zeppelin one. And then this is like a Red Hot Chili Peppers. And he is a 12 month in almost everything. Um, at Cotton On, it sizes um, 6 to 12 month in some stuff and 12 to 18 month. So I get him the 12 to 18 month or just the 12 month. Um, and then I got him this adorable little like romper onesie. It's so cute. I love the color. It's also kind of like an acid wash. Um, it has little pockets on the side. And this is a 12 to 18 month and it fits him really well. Okay. Um, so that's what I got him from Cotton On. I'm going to show you what I got them from H&M. I didn't grab much. Um, I actually just went in there to get Axel a sun hat. Um, and I did find one, or, and I did find one, but I couldn't find it to show you guys. But anyways, I'll start with what I got for Axel at H&M. So these come in like a pack of two and it's just like a little button up onesie. He wore these to sleep in because it got a little warm. So yeah, these just have little fishies and whales and they're super soft and lightweight. Um, and then I got him a bunch of shorts because they were on sale. Um, and actually one of them they forgot to take the security tag on. So I'm going to take it back, but I haven't done that yet. Um, so just these cute little red shorts. These are a size six to nine month. Um, H&M runs a little bit big. Got him a couple of cotton shorts. These just have cars on them. And then these have little animals on them. And then these are 12 to 18 month. And yeah, got him those. And then just a cute little pinstriped pair of lightweight ones. And then I just grabbed him a cute little ball cap. This is the first time that he's worn a ball cap and it makes him look so much older. It's so cute. Um, but also makes me so sad. He looks like a little boy. Um, so yeah, that's what I grabbed at H&M for him. And then for Kenzie, not much at all, but I'll show you anyways. These adorable little high-waisted denim pants. <laughs> um, I don't know. They are. They'd be so cute with like a little bodysuit. Um, yeah. I grabbed her these cute little polka dot cotton shorts. These are a size two to three and these fit great. She did wear these in Hawaii. Um, and then these cute little ruffle shorts. Um, she didn't wear these, so I don't know how they fit, but they're also a size two to three. Then last but not least, Target. I honestly didn't don't have much to show you guys from Target because I got the chance to go somewhere else, so it was nice to not have my kids in all cat and jack. <laughs> I'll show you the shoes that I got Kenzie first. She did wear these, so they're like a little bit dirty already, but um, these are just cute little sandals from Target, cat and jack, um, comfortable. And yeah, she's a size seven, but she's getting close to needing a bigger size. So hopefully these last her through the summer. And then I also picked up just a couple tie dye things for Kenzie because I really, I really like the tie dye right now. Um, just a cute pair of biker tie dye shorts. She has tons of plain like shirts that she can wear with them. Um, we have a ton of these. She like lived in them last summer. So grabbed a pair of those and then this cute little peplum cotton tie-dye t-shirt. I think it would be really cute with like a little pair of jean shorts. So that's all that I grabbed her from Target. Oh, I did grab her this adorable little hat that she actually hated when we first got there. Like she wouldn't wear it. And then she eventually started wanting to wear it because of the sun being in her eyes. She, um, she could tell that it helped. So she started wearing this and I'll try to insert a cute little picture of her wearing this hat and that blue rash guard from cotton on because she looked so cute in it and then for axel from target i ended up grabbing oh my gosh there's still sand on this um him this cute little dinosaur sun hat 
he hated it. He would not wear it. Um, I just had to keep putting it on him because I did not want him to be sunburned. Uh, but yeah, look how cute that is. He looks so cute in it. Um, and then I just grabbed him a couple t-shirts. So this cute little gray and striped t-shirt and then just a plain little blue t-shirt. And for his swim trunks, I did grab those at Target. They have like a bunch of different patterns and they're all really, really cute. But this one is just like little whales and fishes um and i just liked the color of that and then we got another pair of swim trunks as a gift for him these are just like a dark blue with big blue whales on them and those are really really cute so that is pretty much everything that i got them for our trip um i wish that i would have vlogged our trip i really did try i did good in the beginning and then as the trip went on i just kind of stopped um, I am just not very good vlogger, especially in public. So we're going to work on that and get better about that because I really wish that I would have documented the trip. It was so much fun. It is really exhausting flying and traveling with young children. It's just a lot of work and there is no such thing as like rest, um, or just laying and lounging on the beach, but it was a lot of fun. So hopefully I'll get better about vlogging and start sharing a little bit more of that kind of stuff with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little bit different than what I usually do, um, but a lot of fun. I love I love shopping for my kids. I rarely shop for myself anymore. It's more fun to shop for them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy hauls and seeing that kind of stuff, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have your support, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!